Hi, my name is Corby, aka Data Juggler. I have just created a free and open source image portfolio site called Blazor Gallery. Blazor Gallery is a place for graphics artists, photographers, and 3D designers to showcase their creations. I would love it if you would try out Blazor Gallery and report any problems if you find any. If you have any suggestions for how I can improve Blazor Gallery, please use the feedback tab as shown in this short video. Okay, this is Blazor Gallery. I'm going to show you how to sign up. I'm going to just create a temp user and I'm going to erase my email there. I'm going to call this user Blake. That's the name of the character you just saw. So we'll call him Blake. And this is not Blake's email, but hopefully the Blake at gmail.com won't mind. And I'll make up a quick password and I'll create the user. Okay, and now I'm going to hope I remember my password from a few seconds ago. And I'll just say login. Okay, this right here is just saying don't put porn on my server, please. I'm looking for a job, and this is a demo for an open source project, so just keep all the images tasteful, please. And then next, you want your images to be public. If you say yes, they'll show up here in the main gallery. For right now, all it does is show the most recent 20 images, but I'll probably create a better algorithm for that soon, so I'll just say yes to that. Now here you have to verify your email, and since I don't have access to this email, I'm going to pause the video and go fake out, get the code, and I'll be right back. Oops, i got to hit send first, and then we're going to have to pause the video and go get the code. Sorry, I forgot how this works. Okay, so I'll pause it, be right back. Okay, I'm back. I'm going to just type in this code. It'll come by email. The email will say data juggler, not blazer gallery, but after a few seconds it redirects you here. Now from here you can upload, uh, up to, you can create up to five folders and you can put up to 20 images in each folder. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my graphics folder and I'll, actually I just created some shirts. Let me see if I can find some of these. They looked pretty good. Uh, let me find it. I'm just getting used to Windows 11 and I hate it. I feel like it's a step backwards from 10, but I guess it's just I don't like, I still like 8 tracks, so probably shows uh, I don't adapt to change very well. Okay, and this is some AI images I created earlier today using Bing, and I'll just select like 5 of these. You can put up to 10 at a time, but 5 shouldn't take very long. Okay. And then now let's say you want to create another folder. I'm going to click this and I'm going to just call this folder Stripes. And this is some, another program I've written that uses those images I just showed you and it cre uses random numbers and it creates these. We'll just pick about six images. Shouldn't take very long. Okay, once you're here, if you want to view any of the full-size images, you just click this View Larger Image. And from here you can scroll through the images, kind of like a slideshow, till you get to the end and then you can't go any further. If you would like to copy the direct a URL to any image you can just click this button and I'll open up a new in private window and just paste that in and just to show you if you want to paste an image on social media or some or email link or something like that okay and I'll go ahead and close that down another thing you can do if I go back if you want to copy a folder you can also copy a folder and I'll, I'll you can do the same thing so I'll go back and do another in private window probably should have kept it open Okay, so from here, and then the person viewing your gallery can scroll through your images and all that. And I'll go ahead and close down the in private window. And then the other thing you can do, if you're in the main gallery and you see somebody's images, the image and you like it, you can like it. And you'll notice it turns gray after you like it because you can only like the same image once by the same person. And if you want to view, like let's say you see this person and you want to see some of their other work, you can click it here and then from here, if I want to, or if you want to scroll through, it's just like what I just showed you. You can scroll through the gallery, and I'll go ahead and go back. Okay, and now we'll go back to, uh, that did go back, I noticed, to your own folder. I saw that earlier today, so I'll have to get that fixed. Another thing you can do when you're on your images, let's say you upload one and you don't like it, just click it, and then click this little button here, and that'll remove the image. Also, if you want to delete a folder, I'm not going to actually delete this, but if you wanted to, it just asks you for a confirmation before you delete it, and I'll just say no to that. 
And that is the end of the brief tour. The only other thing I'm going to show you is the feedback mechanism. Uh, so if you have, a, if you encounter any problems, you can either create a bug, a suggestion, or if you have something like a visual display, like something just doesn't look right on your screen, because all the testing has been on my screen so far. But for now, I'll just put a suggestion. I'll put something like giveaway free shirts or something like that, and hit send. And that will save it in the database, and I'll see that eventually. And then after a while, you go back to where you were. So that's my brief tour of Blazor Gallery. Let me know what you think. If you have any questions, comments, or uh, you know ways to make it better, let me know. Thanks for watching.